White House is having a little bit of trouble with the math right now on the health care reform bill. New hour of America's Newsroom, everybody. I'm Martha McCallum. And I'm Bill Lehmer. Good morning. The president uh, may have to recheck the fine print. Garrett with us this morning. Live at this. New York Congressman Eric Massa resigns in a blaze of glory uh, is one way that's being put. Blasting the White House, Democrats, and one of President Obama's right-hand men, his chief of staff. In fact, here's what he had to say about Rahm Emanuel. Well, there's that. Okay. Uh, and Rahm Emanuel has been in the spotlight quite a bit recently. Lots of French page stories about Rahm Emanuel. Uh, and then there is that. The big question about why aren't there curtains uh, in the congressional gym may have occurred to uh, some other congressmen down there. Uh, but we're going to speak moments from now with former White House Press Secretary Ari Fleischer, who has knows what it's like to be uh, behind the scenes at the White House. He's going to join us live on Rahm, on Massa, and on the drama. What yeah. a story that has and been. So far, we can tell Ari's a long way from the son of the Devil spawn. Oh my <laughs> Where do you come up with that line? I don't know. Uh, Ari and there is a battle raging in the Lone Star State over what kids across the country learn from their school books. And what happens in Texas may not stay in Texas. Brian Wilson's live. Police caught our eye today. It's a brand new poll from a left leaning pollster group that is uh, serving what they are calling a wake up call for the White House about our country's global standing. According to the democracy. Well, SeaWorld and the family of the trainer who was killed at the park are looking to stop the release of video that shows that horrific incident from being shown on TV or online, which we all know is very, very tricky uh, to prevent these days. But First Amendment advocates are saying that the video's public release is important so that outside organizations can confirm statements that were made by SeaWorld executives. Hundreds of Arab students here in the United States on bogus student visas. So what were they doing here? Because they were not apparently going to school. So that raises some interesting questions. This scam and the big hole that promised this breaking news on a scam in California. Hundreds of Arab nationals allegedly holding onto their student visas here in the United States by paying Americans to take their tests for them. Okay. Well, this is a good one. A real life bridezilla and her family are accused of starting a brawl in a bridal boutique in Michigan. And it was all caught on tape. We're all charged with assault, and the owner estimates that the brawl cost about $20,000 in damage to his store. I mean, it's a dress. I said it's hem that hem. It's a dress. Yeah, one more inch. Let's get real. Yeah. yeah. I wonder what details on the triple shooting at Ohio State University. How many names? Yeah. That ain't going to happen. <laughs>